First thing is I look at the scene without the camera. I walk around without the camera pressed to my face because when you put the camera to your face, you see a lot less than you do just walking around. So um, I'm going to walk the area that I'm going to shoot without the camera to my face and, and look for interesting things. Uh, when I find things I'm going to shoot or uh, you know, I can build a scene in my mind, then I'll start putting the pieces together. And, and that's kind of a visualization for me. So uh, when I'm visualizing, I know exactly how I want this thing to look. I know I want this edge of the frame to be you know, next to this tree, and I want my subject running or jumping into this part of the frame. Um, and and I, I even actually pre-visualize all the way to, to what this could look like in post-production. But uh, suffice to say, I kind of visualize the shot. And, um, and then next, I fantasize about it a little bit. What could I put in here to make this the absolute best picture? Does it, does it mean bringing in a troop of um, <laughs> a circus troupe in here and throw in the background? Or does it mean uh, taking things away? I mean, more often than not, it means, it means simplifying the frame. And, and I fantasize about making the, the, the best picture. And then uh, the last, which is, I think, kind of a uh, marquee of my work, is trying to do something that is unusual. How can I put a little twist on it? Or as we say when we're on set, how can we turn this one on its head? And uh, I look for ways to make it different, and uh, those are the little things that separate it from making it an interesting photograph to a great photograph.